Hey guys, just before we get this video started properly, um, I just want to let you guys know that this is just a little mental note on on a mistake that I made in the during the prep video, and I'm doing doing it this way because I really just can't be bothered re -edit, re, re editing the prep video and undoing all that. So when it gets to a part where I'm talking about my Barrascuda, which I am bringing to this battle. I talk about its ability, um, propeller tail, uh, and what I thought it did, and what I hope to achieve with this ability during this for this, bat this particular battle. But it turns out uh, it doesn't do what, what I thought it did, and I'm basically just just s s telling you this now, guys. So when it gets to that part, and you're thinking, why has he said that? Uh, don't do that, what an idiot. I just don't want you guys to think I'm an idiot. Because it's basically me misunderstanding the ability. And um, yeah, I, I just didn't want to come across as an idiot. idiot. It was just <laughs> a bit of a noobish mistake by me. But in hindsight, both abilities for Barrascuda don't really matter in this battle. Because I don't really need them. But other aspects of a Barrascuda, meaning the nature, the... Um, the EV spread and the moveset were all fine. It was just that bit. So yeah, I do apologise for that mistake. But you know what? It's it is what it is. And uh, yeah, we'll, I've I've talked long enough now. So um, let's just um, get this video rolling, shall we? What is going on, guys? My name is Caddy, and welcome to week three three of the uh, Battle Hub Draft League. Now, before we get this officially started, uh, a few things. Number one, um, thanks for all the love on the on the first battle. Uh, means a lot, and uh, you know I, I like to uh, thank my opponent for that battle. Who um, is called Stefan. He's the coach of the Grand Grand Lake Scar Chomps, I think it was. Uh, it was a good battle, even. It, he himself said for the first time I like me it was a good battle unfortunately I, I kind of ignored the Skeledurge in his team I was like more concentrated on what the hell to do with Enamorous and Meow Scarado who I thought were the bigger threats but it's a, you know what we'll take the loss it's fine um, number two I'm obviously I'm back I've been very <laughs> well I won't say very well I would uh, I've been pretty ill with just a really bad throat and a cough that just won't go away. I've been coughing my guts up for the past two or three weeks, uh, and it got to a point that I was losing my voice. I mean, I'm about 90% better. I'm still, the voice is not fully back, but it's it's there. It's it's on it's on the mend. So um, so yeah, hopefully I'll be fully better by next week. And uh, number three, you might be wondering, well, where's week two? Well, okay, I'll explain myself. Right, week two, my opponent was the Mamoswine Doubters, who are coached by a guy named Raymond, who so happens to be the winner of the past two seasons of the Battle of Draft League. So I was, I was up against it already, and his picks were incredible. Yeah, he had the likes of Archelodon, Baxcalibur, Glamour, Wellspring Ogapon. Frets, massive frets, and to be honest, just come day of a battle, uh, I was just in one of them moods. I was like, I don't want a battle. I cannot be bothered. But because this is a draft league, you have to like um, set the battle for a certain day. And unfortunately, on that day, I had to battle. I was like, okay, I'll suck it up and do a battle. And uh, I got a kill. So that's that's good enough for me, but I just ended up getting swept by um, Wellspring Ogapon, which it, there's no shame in that. But I, I made a very noobish mistake in that game that led to me getting swept, and yeah, it was. And I was like, no, I wasn't very happy. But you know what? I'll take the loss. Um, good luck to both uh, Stefan and Ramon, Ramon in the um, in future battle uh, battle Hub draft league matches. Um, by the way, and um, yeah. So, um, this week, week three, we are against, if we can pay, bring up the next slide right now. Oh, 
There we go. So yeah, week three, we are facing the West Texas Arcanines, who are coached by a guy named RK Niner. Now, to my knowledge, I don't believe we've ever fought now RK Niner like ever. So this will be a brand new opponent for us. Well, for both of us at least. At least. So um, this should be very interesting. So. Let's have a look at their team first. They chose Latios, Weavau, Rillaboom, Mimikyu, who's a Terra Captain, Magnazone, Tauros Blaze, who's also a Terra Captain, Sandslash, Vaporeon, Braviary, and Muck. Now, looking at that team, that is a pretty solid team, if I do say so myself. Um, th but the first thing that popped, in, th 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 that literally popped into my head. Just, just by seeing it was, <laughs> Mimikyu. If you know me, guys, I hate fighting Mimikyu. Every time I fight a Mimikyu, it screws me over because of its dumb ability. I don't like it. Um. So yeah, and um, makes it even worse that Mimikyu is the Terra Captain. It's ninety percent sure it's going to be coming in this battle. So uh, yeah, we're we'll gonna have to deal with Mimikyu. But you know what? We'll get off the Mimikyu subject. We'll have a look at the other threats. So we've got Weavile, who is super fast. Uh, we've got the Latios, who's also fast as well. And there's a bit of bulk with Rillaboom, Magnazone. Uh, Tauros players I've never really fought before, but I don't, can't really see that coming. Uh, Sandslash is pretty cool. Um, looking at, his, at the team, but I think that's the only Pokemon that has the ability to get rid of hazards, which is... An interesting thought. Got the Vaporeon, who's a specially defensive monster. Really annoying to take down. They've got Braviary, who's a bit meh. Uh, Muck's cool, though. And that's whatever. So, yeah. The threats out there is obviously Mimikyu. Because I hate Mimikyu. Um, Weave out with, this, you know, with the um, triple axle knockoff, Ice Shard, all that, all that jazz. And that 125 speed is ridiculous. Uh, Latios with the Levitate, could be anything, could be Specs, could be Scarf, could be Carmine, could be anything. Um, Rillaboom with a Grassy Surge, Grassy Glide, can hit, hit hard, but I think we can deal with that. Magnazone is, an, is a special defensive monster, not, not special defensive, special attacking monster, slow as hell, but it's no joke when it hits on the special side. And yeah, pretty solid team. So we look at my team, guys. Uh, obviously, we've got the Hydrapple, sl Gala Slow King, Double Regenerator going. Uh, we've also got Don Fan, who's like the king of Stealth Rocks, Rapid Spin, Knockoff, all in one move set. <laughs> we've got Porygon 2, who's a Terra Captain, one of my favourite mons to use in competitive play, Porygon 2. We've got the Infinite. Um, we've got Barascuda who, if you remember back in the draft analysis, wasn't in the draft analysis, because uh, I've recently traded three of my mons for three brand new mons, one being Barascuda, two being the Rotom, and the third one being the Murkrow. I'll talk about that in a minute, we'll just round, and we'll just round off the team with Como O and Alcremi, and the Tarot Captains are Alcremi, Murkrow, and Paragon 2, like I said. So yeah, yeah, for transactions, we all get five transactions each for each season. I've used three of them, so I've got two left. So, um, I got rid of Basque Legion Mail, Magneton, and Volbeat in favour of Barrascuda, uh, Rotom, and Murkrow. Okay, reasonings for, for these, for these, um, changes. I chose Barrascuda over the, over the, um, Basque Legion because it's faster. It hits harder, and it's just got way better coverage. The fact that Basque Legion Mail has, outside of Phantom Force, doesn't have any really good uh, physical ghost stab was really irking me. And and the fact I couldn't, I wasn't allowed to um, make it a Terra Captain, just just hindered it a lot more. So um, yeah, Barris Good, I think is a solid replacement for the Basque Legion. Um, Rotom for the Magneton. Well, Rotom is this is light bulb Rotom, the um, the electric ghost version. Um, we've got levitate, so we've got uh, an option to um, be immune to ground types. Because as you can see, my team is pretty weak 
to um, to um, ground. I'm going back to a bow scooter. There's one thing my team needs is speed. We got Barry Scooter, it's a base 136 speed, which by my calculations makes it the fastest one in, in all this, in this battle, if I decide to bring it. So back to Raw Tom, yep, yeah, got Levitate, which means we're immune to, uh, immune to Earthquake. Um, I used Scarf Magneton in week one, it did okay, it got a kill, but <sighs> problem with Magneton is I did not give, give it a Terror Captain. And um, basically, all it, all it was was Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, Flash Cannon, and the um, the last move slot was basically a move you just you just never going to touch it. It was just too the coverage was terrible without the Terror Captain. Um, Roll Time's got slightly better coverage. It's not much better, but it's better. It's still got the Volt Switch, still got the Thunderbolt, but we can trick. We can use trick, which is good. And obviously. Murkrow for the Volbeat, it's Prankster for Prankster, but I just think uh, Murkrow is a better Prankster mon. Um, I know Volbeat had the ability to Tailwind, same as Murkrow, but Murkrow you can Torge, you can Torment. We've got Encore, which is a shame. We've got the access to Foul Play as well. And um, and one thing I noticed is we've got access to Feather Dance, so Prankster Feather Dance, to just a lower attack, it's just really annoying, isn't it? And I know there is one particular... Murkrow set out there, which I'm not going to use. That, that's perish trapping because perish trapping is such an evil thing to do, and it's just not fun. <laughs> so anyway, those are the teams, guys. Like I said before, it's the most evenly matched battle I think of the week. This nothing really stands out apart from Mimikyu. And he stops mentioning Mimikyu. It's like I'm 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 obsessed with it. But anyway. Without further ado, I'm going to go through the team I am, I have decided to bring for this week three battle. Okay, so the first mon we are bringing to this battle is Hydrapple, and uh, this is just a uh, the the classic assault vest set that you see on most Hydrapples. Um, we're obviously running Regenerator. This particular Hydrapple I'm using is uh, quite nature because when I first met made this it was for trick room and mind you quiet is probably a really it's a really good nature for it anyway so EV spread what, what I'm going to say right now guys is pretty much all my mons are very basic easy EV spreads it's just going to go max max because I don't really do Chinese EVs purely because I just can't be bothered working out how how much certain EVs I need to outspeed that aim on or to one hit KO a certain one. I just really cannot be bothered. So I'm just gonna go max max. If it costs me some battles, so be it. So yeah, we're gonna go max HP, max special attack, put the put the remaining four EVs in special defence, slap the assault vest up vest on and we're gonna run with the move set of Fickle Beam and Giga Drain for um for stab, earth power for coverage, and we got dragon tail just uh, for switches, really. So yeah, it's pretty standard hydrapple set. And uh, without further ado, let's just move on to the next team member we are going to bring. Okay, so to complete the double regenerator core, we are bringing special defensive Galarian Sloking. Now this mon and Hydrapple just complement each other very very well. Um, double Regenerator is annoying to deal with, but we'll go we'll go through the set. So obviously Regenerator, like, like we said, we're going with a Calm Nature. We're going with Max Health, Max Special Defense, and the remaining EVs in Physical Defense. It's going to be holding the Heavy Duty Boots, and the new set we're going to we've chosen to go with is um, Toxic for two reasons. Um, well, actually, one reason is that only two of her mons cannot be affected by Toxic, that being Magnazon and Muck. I can probably see one of them coming. I don't see both of them coming. So, yeah, Toxic is good. And um, and because we're a poison type, Toxic can't miss either, which is good. So, uh, <laughs> um, we've gone with Chili Reception, purely for slow switching momentum. Don't care about the snow. Not use, use, using the snow. I just want the switch. Uh, future sight for two reasons. One keeps them guessing of when it's going to come, forcing them to count turns, make them think harder. And number two, only Weavile 
is immune to future sight. I know Latios resists it, but I'll take a resist over being immune. So, so that's future sight. And the last move, we're going to use Venal Shock, uh, purely because this is what the Battle Hope, Battle Hope Draft League is all about, using unusual sets. I know Sludge Bomb is obviously the better move, but, you know, Toxic Venal Shock, it could work. I'll try and make it work. <laughs> but, yeah, that is Galarian Sloking. And without further ado, let's just move on to our third team member. Okay, so our third team member, um, we're going to go with the Armoured Elephant, known as Donphan. Uh, it's just your classic physically defensive Donphan. Uh, running sturdy ability with an impish nature, max health, max defense, remaining EVs in attack, holding the rocket helmet, we've got Stealth Rock, Rapid Spin, Knock Off Earthquake. That's all you really need to know, really. I did contemplate putting our shard on and taking Earthquake off because of Rillaboom's Grassy Surge. But in the end, I just stuck to my guns and just, you know what, just keep Earthquake. If Rillaboom comes, so be it. So yeah, it's a pretty standard Donphan set. You know, Donphan's pretty solid overall. Um, yeah. I'm glad to bring it because I think hazards are going to be pre a bit a, a bit crucial in this game. So yeah, without further ado, we will um, move on to team member number four. Okay, so now these last three mons, this is where it gets a little bit more creative for me. So our fourth team member, Barrascuda, is making its debut for the Hyber and Hydrapples. So yeah. Barracuda, the Speed Demon Fish, or Barracuda, is coming. So we're running with its hidden ability, which is Propeller Tail. If you don't know what that is, it's just basically Barracuda's version of Mold Breaker. And it is crucial for two reasons. Number one, I can bypass the Disguise ability on Mimikyu. Because um, I'm pretty sure a Banded Liquidation... Is pretty much a 2 hit KO on that Mimikyu at the very least. And remember, the they've got Vaporeon. I can flip turn and ignore the water absorb on the Vaporeon. So, yeah, Vaporeon doesn't completely counter me. So, that's that's where I'm going with Propeller Tail. Basically, Barra Scooter's version of Mold Breaker. So, there you go. Hoping I'll bluff that I've got Swift Swim, but it's going to be hard when. The only real mon on my team that can set up rain is going to be Gala Sloking. So it's going to be hard to bluff that, but we'll try. So we're running a jolly nature because I'm not in the rain. So obviously I want as much speed as possible. Um, we, we're going ma max attack, max speed, remaining EVs in HP. We're obviously choice banded. Now, the move set I've gone with is flip turn for fast switch. Liquidation, just a strong water stab. Uh, I contemplated putting Aqua Jet on, but I decided against that. I also contemplated putting Close Combat on, just for absolute max power. But, purely for Mimikyu, I put Poison Jab on. And Rillaboom. Poison Jab for them too, specifically. And the last move is Throat Chop, because I like using Throat Chop. <laughs> um, so yeah, that, that, that is my proper creative rep for this Barrascuda and I think this mon could be crucial if if it doesn't get one-shotted by anything. I know Grassy Glide under Grassy Surge is going to be a problem but hopefully we'll see what happens. So that is Barrascuda making its debut for the Hyburn Hydrapples. Without further ado let's get to team num member number five. Okay, so team member number five, we're bringing the infinite, purely because we vow and really boom, them too. <laughs> so yeah, we're bringing infinite. We're, we're iron fist. We're jolly in nature. Max attack, max speed. With um, r last remaining bit in uh, defense, we are punching glove because I, I don't want to be life orb. Um, we're going with the swords dance set. And um, we're, we're back in Matt Punch. That's where the punching glove comes in. Give the Matt Punch a bit more oomph. And then we just got really strong stab in close combat and flare blitz. Um, 
Infinite, I've not really done it any justice so far. It's not really done a lot. But I like Infinite. It's it's a bit of speed to it. It's not the fastest one, but it's got priority, which is what I want. So, yeah. Source Dance Infinite is the fifth member. And for our last member, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just get straight into it. He's also going to be our terror captain as well. Okay, the final member of the team, we are bringing our Kremi. I think there's no question that I, that I have to bring it because it's weak. Uh, it, no, it's not. It's not weak. It's strong against Latios and Weavile. And this particular Al Kremi set it could also do well against Mimikyu as well. Uh, we are going fully offensive here. So we've got the Aroma availability, which to be honest, won't do really do anything. I guess it can, it'll stop Encores, but I don't think any of the team members are Encore users. So, um, that's that. We're going for Modest Nature. I was going, I was thinking of going Timid, but I think I want, I want maximum, maximum special attack output. So, Modest Nature with 252 special attack, 252 speed, last remaining EVs in special defense, and we are Choice Specs. We are going Choice Specs Al Kremi. Uh, with the move set of alluring voice, so if anyone tries to set up on me, I can just hit them with a choice specs allure, alluring voice. Hopefully, take them out. If they don't take them out, they'll be confused. Uh, psychic for coverage on the uh, poison types. Giga drain again for coverage, and we're running terror blast because we are terror steel. That's where giga drain comes in. If I turn into terror steel, giga drain is to stop. Um, like any ground type mods, I think the only ground type type mod they've got is um, <laughs> is sand slash. So um, that's that. But th it, this could be good. Uh, I, I originally tried to go Timmy Scarf on this Alcreme, but after doing the calcs, I'll, I'll I, there's just no way I can outspeed Weavile. Um, Timmy Scarf outspeeds um, Latios if it's not scarfed. But in the end, I just went, you know what, specs mod modest specs will do. So yeah. Our terror captain, Al Kremi, is the last team member for this battle. So without further ado, I'll see you guys it on the battlefield. Good luck and have fun, RK Niner. Okay, so it is battle time. <laughs> and the first thing I see on team preview is there is no Mimikyu. <sighs> I've done all that prep for Mimikyu and it and doesn't even turn up. Alright, okay, that's... That's actually good, good news. So I don't have to deal with that 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 mon. So we'll have a look at the uh, who, what RK9 has bought. They've bought Latios, Weavile, Sandslash, Tauros Blaze, which is the Terra Captain, Vaporeon, and Rillaboom. And as you can see, there's my team from from what I explained in the prep. Um, obviously, if you remember the disclaimer at the beginning, uh, Propeller Tail Barrascuder Barrascuda doesn't do what I think it did does. So, but it doesn't really matter because Swiftfoot here I thought, yeah, that basically doesn't matter. So uh, I'm going to be leading off with the Galarian Slow King and I don't really know what they could lead off with. They could lead off with a Sand Slash to get the rocks up if it's a Stealth Rocker. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I'm all, uh, after last week's performance, I'm, I want a better performance here. Would I say I'll get, I'll get the victory? I don't know because these these are quality bat battlers we're facing in this in this draft league. So the battle is about to get underway right now. Good looking at fun RK Niner. So who do they lead off with? The, the Vaporeon. Okay, that's okay. That because I'm I, I just sent in the Alchemist, who's a uh, a special wall. And first thing I want to do to this Vaporeon is Toxic it. Toxic it, toxic it, toxic it. Because there's no Magnazone, there's no book, I'm free to toxic anything I want. They go for the Shadow Ball. Uh, we take that pretty well. And we go for Toxic, which is great. So I can't really be dealing with this Vaporeon around. As long as that Vaporeon's around, my Barrascuda can't really stop flip turning on, on anything, really. 
So and I want this thing gone. So we're gonna go for the um, chili reception for the slow switch momentum. They go for Shadow Ball again. Uh, do some nice damage to be honest. It's a, a free hit KO on my, on my special defensive Galarian Slow King. So we're gonna tell a chilling a bad joke, start a snowstorm and get the hell out of there. And who do we bring in? Uh, now I know that Vaporeon could pack Ice Beam but I've got an Assault Vest Hydrapple so I'm just going to risk it for the Biscuit. Um, so the Toxic is going to start taking effect which is really really good. Um, they don't have the Fairy because Mimikyu's not here so I'm just going straight for the Fickle Beam. Now obviously this is my second time ever using Fickle Beam in the Draft League. The first time I got full power, I got all out. Can we get all out Fickle Beam again? It'd be great if we do, because it'll do lots of damage. So I am I'm anticipating the Ice Beam, but I reckon I can live one. I can live an Ice Beam from the Vaporeon with the Assault Vest. So there's the Ice Beam. And we do live it, and I just realised the snow's up, so I just powered up that Ice Beam for him. We go for the all out Fickle Beam. Come on. That's good damage. That is really good damage. But the Toxic is... Really taking effect again, so uh, that's that's good. So um, obviously, I want to uh, preserve this hydrapple. So um, we're going to go back into the Galarian Slow King to um, to get the regenerator going. You know, the double regenerator core of the hydrapples Galar Slow King is really, really good. So that out comes the and um, they, they predict that, which is a great play by their part. So they go for the Shadow Ball. Uh, but the Vaporeon is down to Toxic and that kind of opens up my, my uh, scooter to start flip turning in and get strong liquidations off. So I'm, I'm quite happy with that. I noticed in my first three battles, including this one, I'm always the person to get the first kill. <laughs> but we'll see how this one turns out. So in comes the Sand Slash, right. I suspect maybe a knockoff might be coming. Or an earthquake. In any case, I'm not staying in, so uh, I'm thinking the Don Fan is a good answer. Yeah, by the way, guys, this is, this is boss commentary. I'm, my computer just not does not have the capabilities for me to do a live com. So, yeah. This is post comp, so we withdraw the Gallo Soaking. Out comes Goodyear tires, I mean, um, uh, Don Fan. Uh, they go for a knockoff, knocks off my Rocky Helmet, that's fine by me. I don't really need it anymore. So, I'm gonna go for um, a knockoff myself, just in case they want to switch. Because I don't, I don't see. see um, see the point of setting up rocks just yet because this sand slash will just rapid spin them away. So we go for the EQ to get some damage off. We get the knock off off to take the heavy duty boots off. Snow stop, that's whatever. Um, so I'm looking I don't really know what this sand slash wants to do. I feel it's just a standard support sand slash but I know Sand Slash can have Leech Life, so I don't really want to bring in Hydrapple just in case of that. So, they withdraw the Sand Slash, that's fine. So, Uri, Willow Boom, okay, I've just, I, I went for Earthquake, so this Earthquake is going to do absolute zilch to this Willow Boom with the Grassy Surge up. So, in comes the EQ. Does absolutely nothing. Fantastic. <laughs> So we get a little bit of health back from the grass, grassy surge. So this was a bit of a risky play because I know really Boom can get U-turn. If they get U-turn on my Hydrapple, that's Hydrapple gone and that's a really good play by their part. I think it was a bit obvious but I'm just, I was just playing it really safe. They go for the U-turn, that's Hydrapple gone. The crit didn't matter. <laughs> oh dear. It was, it was, it was a safe play. A bit of an obvious play. Was there a better switch in for Rillaboom? 
I don't know. No, I don't think there was. So I, I kind of had to let Hydrapple go over there, but it's, it's whatever. The fact that Mimikyu's not here, Hydrapple uh, could have done some work. So in comes the Sand Slash again. Right, opportunity to bring in Barascuda. Barascuda and Hydrapples. So, I see a flip turn coming. I, I, I'm going to just going to hit the flip turn. I don't really see any other any other move to go for. Just keep the momentum going. Keep the momentum going. So they're thinking they probably know flip turns going to come, or they want to scout out which water moves I've got. I mean, it's pretty sure five that I've got liquidation, but do I have Aqua Jet or do I have Flip Turn, or do I have all three? Although if I had all three, it'll be um, a bit naive on me that. So I'd rather have the coverage over three water moves. So I do go for the Flip Turn. They stay in. That's Sand Slash gone. That's that's a kill for Barascuda on its debut. You know that's very very pleasing that. I feel Barrascuda could be a pretty important member of the Hammer of the um, Hammer and Hydrapples this draft season. So we flip turn on out. Who do we bring in? I'm look. I'm, I'm just looking at my piece of paper and thinking, who's who's what's he got left? Vaporeon gone. Sand Slash gone. Who's L Latios, Weavile, Rillaboom, and something else? Tauros Blaze. Um. So I, f I felt at this point Alcremish can come in. There was another one that's not here. I thought Magnazon might come because I am Terra Steel Alchemy, and if and I was very worried that if I Terra Steel and they predicted it, they would have trapped my Alchemy with the Magnet Ball. But I don't have to worry about that. So I'm kind of thinking the Real Boom comes in here. And I got a sneaky suspicion that this really room is choice banded. It's got this really really weird feeling. So uh, yeah, I, I do anticipate this really room coming now, pretty much. And uh, yeah, I know I'm just waffling on a bit during the, the, the connecting bits, but I just generally can't be bothered um, editing. So yeah, the really room does come in as I predicted. I'm going to Terra to steal to resist whatever grass move they want to bring in or even the U-turn and I'm going straight for the Illyrian voice just for massive stab. Um, we are modest nature and we are choice specs. I want to see how much this does to a real boom. Don't expect it to take it out but I do kind of expect to take this pretty well. I'm not EV training bulk. Grassy Glide, that did, that did way too much. That was a crit. <laughs> Alluring voice, how much does this do? That did a... You know what? I'm impressed. <laughs> Al Kremi, I'm, I'm impressed, but... I'm not impressed he didn't take that classic ride. I know it was a crit, but... I'm just looking. If that was a crit, there was, there was probably a slight chance that I could live this one. But I doubt it. But there's nothing else to switch in. I think it was at this point during a live battle I was like this thing I wasn't sure if this was choice banded or not it, it. so yeah if I knew this was choice banded out Gala Slowking was coming in but I just when I was playing this live I didn't uh, uh, I wasn't so know so yeah um, unfortunately the Alcremi didn't do anything it got really boomed down to pretty low health it almost took it out which was very um, impressive. You know, specs are creamy. You know, don't, don't don't mess with it. Once, once I can get it going, so um, we're gonna go for the infinite. 
go for the kill, go to score for the nice easy map punch. They could switch here to preserve this room because I think this, I th in my personal opinion, I think this room is pretty crucial for my Barrascuda. So I just went for the cross combats, just just anticipating the switch, uh, which happens. They bring in the Tauros, this is Intimidate. It is Intimidate, okay, that's fine. We'll go for the cross combat. Oh, I did quite a bit that, but my defenses are lowered. So I'm going to bring in the Dolphin just for um, safety. I know I can take a hit from this um, Tauros, Fire Taurus, the Fireball. And uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Yeah, I've been doing mock testing with this team, and it's just it hasn't really gone well. Um, but, <laughs> but by far, this is its best battle so far. So they go for the Trailblaze, and I kind of forgot it, this thing I tr can get Trailblaze. It doesn't really do much to my downfall, but it does raise the speed, and I can see exactly what they're trying to do. They're trying to out get enough speed boost to outspeed my Barracuda, my Barracuda, Barracuda, which you know that that's fair play to them. Um, I misplayed it, I should have gone straight for the Earthquake and forget about the rocks, just get the Earthquake, get rid of this um, this this Fireball but I went for the rocks I feel, and, I, I, and looking back looking back now I, I, I really think Earthquake was the better play although I think I was anticipating the Rillaboom to come back in but then Rillaboom was low on health and Probably Earthquake would have took it out anyway. So. Oh god damn it. Ah oh, it's alright. Um, we'll learn for the next battle. Already this is infinite, infinitely my best battle of the uh, of the draft league so far. So we go for the terror, this is the terror captain. What do we go for? Right, terror fire, right, okay, so they're going for absolute max power now. So they go for the Raging Bowl, and uh, yeah, that's going to take up my Dolphin, or not, it does not take up my Dolphin, we get the rocks up, the, the Vert stayed, the Sound Slash is gone, still wish I wish should have gone for the Earthquake, oh I'm really kicking myself right now, and there's nothing really else that can switch in, <laughs> oh god, Knockoff, let's go for the knockoff. They go for the trailblaze, they want to get some more speed boost up, you know, that's fine. I think at plus two, they definitely outspeed my um, Barrascuda. So I think we are down to three months left. We've got Infinite, the Gallows Sloking, and the Barrascuda. They're all pretty healthy at the moment, but uh, at the moment, uh, Infinite has to come in. Right. I'm going to go for the map punch. With punching glove boosted and iron fist boosted. I could go for the close combat, but I can't. I don't think it takes it out from that range. I don't want my defenses lowered. So we're going to go for the map punch. As you can see, I am Source Dance Infinite. But. Hmm. RK9 is thinking hard about this. Uh, we go for the map punch, that does not do enough. They go for the close combat. Okay, then now this is an opportunity. I live the close combat! Wow, I did not expect to live that. Okay, um We go for the map punch again, I think this kills. Defense is dropped. I think this kills. So map punch. Yeah, that kills. So yeah. Very evenly close fought battle this and, I, and, I'm, and I'm loving it so what they're down to now Rillaboom Weavile and um, Laughs right okay I need this infinite for the Weavile at the very least Latios right Latios is a bit of an issue 
because I've lost my alchemy. But we're going to bring in the, um, the Gallus Law King. But Latios, is, like I said, it's a bit of a wild card, as um, one, of my, one of my friends says. Says, Could be special, could be physical, could be mixed, could be anything. So in comes the Alchemist again. They go for the Dragon Pulse, stab Dragon Pulse. Doesn't really do a lot. But I've got to go for the Toxic. Gotta go for the toxic. And um, yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see what plays out. Can't go for future side because we've ours around Sai Shock. I think that takes me out of that. Which it does. Okay, so we've lost to Gallus Loking, so we are down to me, Infinite, and my Barascuda. Infinite's got the priority, Barascuda outspeeds everything that's not got priority, but trouble is, Weavow and Rillaboom have got priority. So we're going to send in the, um, the Barascuda. I'm. Ooh, I'm going to go straight for the Throat Chop. I'm being a bit predictable right now. I'm getting a bit rash with my um, decision making. I really should have probably gone for the um, for the liquidation. Should I have done? Yeah, I definitely should have gone for the liquidation. But I was very worried that the Latios would stay in. So uh, we'll go for the throat chop. It doesn't really do a lot. <sighs> but I'm, I'm locked in, so. Um, Unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to sack off my infinite, so but Barascuda will have to do, at least take out another Mon, because I can already see it now, I've already lost, I can't beat uh, Grassy Glide with Willow Doom, can't, it can't be done, so, um, oh, bugger me, uh, so, you know what, it was a good battle, so anyway, in comes the infinite to be sacked off, they go for knockoff, that's what, fine. And we're down to Barascuda. You know what? To be honest, I've seen every member of her team in battle in the, on the battlefield. You know what? That, that's a big plus for me. It's nothing more demoralising than having a battle and you don't see certain ones in a battle that, that in the battlefield. It just seems so demoralising to me. It just says to me, "Oh, that's how bad my team was." Oh, that's just me, probably. But anyway, Barascuda's in. We outspeed the Weavile no matter what. Um. We're going to just go straight, lock ourselves into liquidation. I know Really Boom is at low health, but even when rock, with rocks up, it'll still live the uh, stealth rocks. So we do get a second kill with Barascuda, taking out the Wee of Owl, which is great. Um, but unfortunately, we are going to put this down to a loss because even if we do take out Really Boom, Latios is pretty much full health and it was this liquidation. <laughs> And we're not, we're not, we're not beating it. <sighs> oh well. So anyway, I would like to thank RK Niner of the West Texas RK Niners for this battle. It was a close to the fourth battle. It was my best battle of the draft league season so far, and I'm pretty pleased with it. You know what? Two zero loss. I'll take it. Um, we're still, we're still learning on the job here. So um, thank you for the battle. Good luck for the rest of the season, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.